chain rule. This is a, a lovely little rule that helps you do some more complicated differentiation. It takes a little bit of thinking to get your head around, but soon you'll be doing this really quickly in your head. So, if we look at something like this, previously when we've had brackets involved, we've multiplied out the brackets, but since we've got something to the power of 5, that would be really long and tedious to do. So, we want to look for a faster way to do it. And we do it by substituting in a another term, u, and we let u be the bit inside of the bracket. So then y is equal to u to the power of 5. Now if we differentiate du by dx, then we will get 8x. So we're just differentiating that u term. And if we differentiate y with respect to u this time instead of x, then we will get 5u to the 4. So we're differentiating the u in that, that case. Now we want to be able to work out dy by dx. That we can find by multiplying those two things together, because du by dx times dy by dx would then cancel out the two u's and give us dy by dx. Okay, so now we substitute in the things that we've just worked out, and at the end we need to replace that u with x's again. So just take out that u in the last stage and put in the 4x squared plus 1. Okay, if we want to differentiate the following with respect to x, we're going to do lots of chain rule practice now. So here's our first one. We're going to let u be the bit inside of the bracket. y will then be equal to u to the power of 6. Differentiate each one. And then put them together. So dy by dx will be those two things multiplied together. Then we need to replace the u with what we know it's equal to, which is 5x plus 3. We don't want any u's left in our answer. So our final answer is 30 times 5x plus 3 to the power of 6. Okay, we'll do another one. So u is going to be 2x squared plus 3. y is u to the 6. du by dx is 4x. So we're just differentiating the u. Differentiate the y part, and we've got 6u to the 5. So dy by dx will be those two multiplied together. Replace the u with uh, what we know it is in x's, and we get our final answer. Now some of you, hopefully as you've been watching along, will be able to spot the pattern here and not have to write out the whole thing. So we'll see if we can get to that in a moment. Okay, we've got a cubed root on this one now. So that is 1 plus x cubed to the power of a third. Now, if we want to spot this pattern, we can think about taking the outside of the brackets as being an, an, a thing that you do by itself. So we're going to differentiate the outside of the brackets. That's like making the y equals u to the 6 part in the previous question. And then we will multiply by the derivative of the inside. So you can remember this by differentiate the outside times by the derivative of the inside. So if we differentiate the outside of this one down here, that will be a third, 1 plus x cubed, to the power of minus 2 thirds. So bring down the power, that third, and then reduce the power by 1. We've not done anything with the inside. So you differentiate the outside, you leave the inside alone. Then multiply it by the derivative of the inside, which is 3x squared from that x cubed part. And then just tidy it up. Okay, let's try that again. So, differentiate the outside, leave the inside alone. Then times it by the derivative of the inside. Then we just need to tidy it up. Okay, let's go for another one. So, differentiate the outside, leave the inside alone. Now do the inside and times it. Okay, we've got a lot going on in this one, but it's nothing to be worried about. We'll just do each one um, by itself and then put them together at the end. So let's look at that first function. Differentiate the outside. So bring down that 4, reduce the power to 3, times by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x, 
and then we'll do it with the second lot in that fun function as well. So now re we will bring that 3 down, times it by the 2 to make the 6, reduce that power to 2, and then times by the derivative of the inside. Then we'll just tidy things up. That one can be simplified a little bit further if you want to take out factors from the 8x and the 12x and also th from those brackets that are um, similar to each other. So that could be tidied up further but I'm not going to worry about that on this one in particular. So your key thing here is to remember that you differentiate the outside, leave the inside alone, then differentiate the inside and multiply them together. 